I did a video called Why Delay the First Kiss? I actually talked about it in last week's live. And basically I was saying that like, you know, a lot of times on that first date, maybe, you know, a woman's not quite ready for that first kiss, but you're definitely more, you have a better chance of getting a, a first kiss on a second date. So I said during that video though, hey, I've been on first dates where based on how the, the date was going and the vibe going, I've been able to get first date kisses and do more on first dates. But sometimes, depending on the vibe that I'm getting, I can tell, hey, maybe this woman needs a bit more time. I'll just wait until the second date. And then I said, but usually by the second date, I'm trying to like put out that kiss because I need to know at that point if this is building towards something or if it's not, you know? Cause you could kiss her and then the next time you ask her out, like, hey, I'm not really feeling it, but at least you know, you know? But I said that, so anyway, I had a few interesting responses to people that sometimes I can't tell people actually watch the videos or just see the title. Like the title is why delay the first kiss. And I think people just react off of that. Right? So I had two comments in particular that I got. The first one, this guy said, rename this video, how to be a beta male, never focus on someone else having a good time, focus on having a good time and on having the balls to be true. Well, really, you could try to focus on having your own good time and ideally that's what you're doing, but hopefully you're setting up a scenario whereby you can pretty much know that she's going to have a good time, whether it's the atmosphere you pick, the conversation topics you come up with, like you should be, you know, considering that you're not the only person on this date. And while you having a good time is important, we want to get her to the second, third, fourth, fifth date, etc. So there has to be some consideration of the kind of time that she's having. And I think a lot of guys go on dates and they're sitting there, you know, the guys that over talk or over chew on their food or only talk about sex. Those are guys that are just like, well, she said yes to the date. I'm going to assume she's having a good time and just do whatever. And then they're surprised later on when they, they the girl doesn't want to go out again. So again, some consideration has to be taken anyway. Then he says, on the other hand, <clears throat> have control of your sex drive. Don't let it ruin your life. So, so that would also mean like being in control of like kissing her or not, because if you're able to read that, she's maybe not like ready for touchy feely stuff. Why would you be like, I'm going to kiss her anyway. Like that's not you having control. That's you trying to take control in a situation where that's not the kind of control in the moment that she wants you to take. So then he says, sex ruins the creation of a real bond. What are we talking about? Uh, always escalate and show the girl you're not afraid of her and you certainly don't hide your desire and attraction. So it went from like, he, he disagreed with me and said that uh, I'm teaching you guys to be beta. And then he says all the stuff about like, uh, being in control of your sex drive and not hooking up because it ruins a real bond. Like one could argue that also sounds beta. I'm not saying that because I know that as a guy, it's good to be in control of whether or not you're hooking up with somebody or kissing them. So those things are, are to me the same, but, and so that seemed like it was weird because it didn't sound like he was disagreeing, even though he was, but I did like the last point he made about always escalate and show the girl you're not afraid of her. And you certainly don't hide your desire and attraction. I did not say that. I did not say, Hey, on date one, if you want to kiss her, you need to like hide that crap. What I said was that you need to be doing your due diligence and reading the room and determining if that's the move that she want, that you want to make or if that's a move that she is ready for. If you find based on your analysis that this is maybe not the right time, that is also fine. And I was saying in that video, I have found I've had more success getting a first kiss to happen on second dates. That didn't, I didn't say I've never had it happen on a first day ever, cause I have, you know? But to his point, yes, some of you guys are afraid of doing any kind of move whatsoever that would indicate you're interested in her in a physical realm. And it's not that there's anything wrong with doing that, but this goes back to timing. I personally found that more often than not, a first date is not the best time to try to get overly sexual, unless she brings up a sexual innuendo, in which case, hey, then I'll, I'll jump in too. But typically for first touches, I let them escal I, I let them do that first, just to open the door. Now, if they first touch me, I know at that point, there's a little bit of a gate open, then yeah, I will respond in kind. And then I may try to do something to one up that. So that's how that process goes for me. But I'm not going to just go on a date and see a girl like sitting there with her arms like this on the table and think it's time to try to kiss her and touch her. Like that's just a bad read. So you can do that if you want to, if you're thinking that not doing, if you're thinking that not making any move whatsoever is going to make you beta, 
then make all the moves you want. If that works for you, then keep on doing it. There is nothing inherently wrong though with analyzing a situation and saying, okay, these are moves that I can make right now, and these are moves I'm gonna hold off on until the next date, you know? Now, for those of you guys that are like completely just like, I don't wanna make a move, I don't wanna look at her wrong, I don't wanna touch her wrong, whatever, then yeah, you might be you might be overthinking things, at which point you need to kinda of let loose a little bit, just a little bit, because you gotta understand, the woman on the other side of you said yes to a date. Whether she saw your profile or met you at a previous event, she said yes to a date. That means there is a level of some kind of attraction there where she's hoping that you as the guy are going to do other things to indicate to her that you find her attractive. It could be something as simple as like, oh, that dress looks dynamite on you. Like that will let her know, oh, he's got, he's seeing me in, in a way that's potentially sexual, but for being early on in the dating process, it's doing it in a respectable way. You know what I mean? So then the second guy, said, you set yourself up for the friend zone doing this stuff, i.e. delaying the first kiss. He says, I'm 56 and this nice guy crap doesn't work. Well, as we said in my, the nice guy portion of this show, it could very well be that there's other ways that you're being nice, that you're not aware of, that are turning off women. Holding back on a kiss on a first date is usually not one of them. Like more often than not, I found women are gonna typically start either being turned off or wondering if you're gay, if you have not kissed them by like date three. So there's usually like a, a two to three date window where she's like, okay, I'm gonna give me, like first, let's say you don't kiss her on the first date, right? First date, okay, it's the first date, I get it. We're just meeting each other. Maybe he's nervous or whatever. Second date, she's like, okay, most guys at this point have tried to go for a kiss. I'm feeling this guy, but he's not trying to kiss me. Like, does he just see me as a fin? Like, what's I don't know what's going on with him. Okay, I'll give him one more shot. Third date, you're pretty much gay. Like you're not kissing me, what, what's going on? So, so understand like there's, there's a little bit of grace that most women will give you in terms of the kissing realm of things, all right? But again, I typically found, I, I've, I've tried first date kisses where I, sometimes I got the kiss, sometimes I got rejected, sometimes I would get the kiss and then find out later that she wasn't feeling comfortable and that she wanted to wait until a later time to try to kiss again and then it was fine after that, you know? Um, but I found that on second dates, I have gotten like, rarely rejected about a, a kiss on a second date. So that's why I recommend that. But your experience may vary. So if you're like every girl you want a first date with, you can kiss her and it's no problem, then hey, work with that plan. I'm just telling guys, they're not gonna get overly punished for not doing it on a first date. So hopefully that clarifies any confusion that may have been there, all right? You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you a high earning, high value, high class man. You a high earning, high value, high class man. You a high earning, high value, high class man. You a high class man. You a high class man. You a high earning, high value, high class man.